great idea. Yeah. I agree. Game one of our double dip. Devin Booker. He's been wearing hats and warm ups. I've got to figure that out. Taking on Luca and the Mavs. The lather to get warm again. His hair was cold. He was a baseball cap at all stuff. Look at Kyrie. Mm. One of the best finishers mm. in the game. Mm. Look at They're that. Ah, what did AI oh. say? Best handles he's ever seen. English. Devin Booker on the drive. Garrett has a true jocker and he can score with the best of them. He had 12 in the first quarter. Ah. Uh. And would have 16 in the first half. Pull up. Yes, indeed. Money. He is, and uh, Luca loving every second of it. Meantime, KD. Mm -hmm. Getting where he needs to be. Phoenix That's... up by eight. I said at the beginning. Of... Luca and one. I said at the beginning of that Phoenix needs to try to get the four, and Dallas needs to be right behind them at five because they love. Well, it might look Phoenix the other sense. way. They might get the four. Phoenix. I mean, Dallas might get the four before Phoenix does. Sixteen nothing start to the mm. third oh, quarter. Oh, bully ball! The Dallas Mavericks to take the lead. You saw Booker there, and then Luca, a little too much mustard on that toss to the official. Gets yeah. teed up. That was kind of hard, Pauls. Yeah. Oh, Kyrie. Oh. 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 Man, man, man. And Ooh, now, that is scary. KD, when P.J. Washington kind of knocked shoot. into him, Royce O'Neal pushed him into yeah. it. Yeah, good thing his shoot came off to help that foot slide back. If not, man, that could have been ugly. Stay oh, no, he didn't. Oh, that's oh. Cool. oh no, he didn't. Oh. Luka punctuating oh. a 41-point okay. night. You see that smile? Had nine a, rebounds, 11 a, assists. That's a smile of you can't do nothing with me. 36 nothing. games of 30 plus. 11th time he's gone for 40 as they win it 123 113 for Phoenix. The 11th loss this year when they had a lead at the half. Only Washington has more with 12. 123 113 is your final. How about some post game yakety yak? Yakety yak. I think the guys are having fun. You know, they want to win. And you can see that energy uh, on the floor. Those guys are cheering for one another. You know, we were on a roll, and then the, we were going to break, and sometimes you can come out flat, but I thought the guys did a great job tonight. And we have a lot of guys that are, are very good, and uh, everybody's on the same page. So, I mean, the main goal for us is just to win games. I was just telling somebody in the locker room, I think this is the longest win streak I've ever had in my career. So I'm just happy to be here. We're deep. This is, this is the first time this, the Mavs have been deep in a long time. And so um, to be able to uh, be patient, to understand it's about winning, and uh, when your time is called, to, to do your job. So the Mavs winners over the Suns. Meantime, with no LeBron James as he rests that uh, left ankle. Lakers taking on Steph and the Warriors. Draymond with the ball. Oh, 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 nice as that oh. to Andrew Wiggins. You're not going to shoot that, Ernie. Oh, there he is. And he's going to knock it down and make it look Steffordless. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my look God. At Jackson. Who he play for? Hey. Austin oh. Reeves. Mm, fade away. Okay. Bacon and bacon and knocking that down. Okay, Lakers Rick by Shepard. two. Steph. Yeah, Stefan Olajuwon. And again, Steph. oh, look at Max Christie backing up. Don't you I back just, up. I just feel that when Golden State scores, even when they play one-on-one, -on -one, it's in five seconds or less. 67 oh. 56 was your halftime score. Shake. Shake. Oh. Look at this. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, man. See the ball movement? No five way. seconds or less. Bang. Other teams, you know, they play ISO ball. You kind of can read what they're about to do. Golden State is one of the teams you can't read what they're about to do. Kaminga has it blocked. He stays with it. Yes, he does. And then Clay Thompson to the pass. Grace Jackson Davis, who had 17 off the Golden State bench, and the Golden State Warriors pull away to knock out the Lakers 128 to 110. Lakers still can't get over that three-game winning streak threshold. They've had five of them this year. Just can't win four in a row. Golden State, meantime, now 10-5 and five since Draymond Green came back, and they've won nine of their last 11 overall. After the game, Chris Haynes with Steph. Steph, you have a team where you have veterans, all-star players, 
who have been asked to take smaller roles, come off the bench. What does it say about the character of your team where they've done that and they still stay within the team concept? I mean, I think the biggest thing is because we're trying to keep this thing going for, you know, over a decade. And we were talking about it before the game. That's a natural evolution of, of just understanding what it takes to win. We want healthy egos. We want, you know, everybody to feel super confident and, you know, what they bring to the table. But it's always a team game and a team mentality of how do you win and what are you asked to do to win. And credit a lot of guys for making those necessary adjustments. We obviously got a long way to go, but uh, it's good to win. And lastly, Steph, you brought it up. You want to continue this thing. You guys have won nine of your last 11 games. What do you say to the people that say this run by Golden State is over? What do you say to those naysayers, Steph? It's more just about our mentality in the locker room. Like I said, God has been great for us to continue to be healthy and play. Um, and enjoy this game. I don't have any great sayings other than we're just trying to win the next game. Uh, our season's been all over the place, and uh, for us to just stay in the moment, stay in the present, we know if we can get in the playoffs, we're a tough out no matter who we play, but you got to get there. So that's how we're focused on. Steph, appreciate you, brother. Thank you. 23rd time this year, Steph has gone for at least 30, had 32 in that one. Really looking forward to seeing the Clippers and the uh, mm, he's Oklahoma back. City Thunder tonight. And yes. a tough night for Russ going back to OKC. That's his only bucket right there. He was one for nine from the four. Uh, kind of like Clay Thompson was one for nine in that in that uh, Golden State game. James Harden connects from deep. And oh, then, excuse oh, me, excuse Jay me. Gilgis mm. Alexander, Jay Gilgis Alexander, SGA, as yes. you Look easy with does it. it. Hey, 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 stop that. Vince, you got to love man. that, man. I do, I do. Stop that. 61-59, your halftime score. Hey. Oh, Ooh, look at you. And then yes. the feed Ooh. to Isaiah Joe. Oklahoma City by three. Like, Easy out, does it. Oh, oh, oh there. No Norman Powell. Boy, there go. are almost, breaks. Almost Boy. left the screen. You got to use your brakes. <laughs> Kawhi. <laughs> Let the car run. 83 79. Downhill. That Easy does it. Oh, there he is. Now, it is. now they're scared. Now. Easy does it. 31 and eight assists on the night for Shea Gilgis Alexander. His 40th 30 point game of the season. Hey, big dog. Chet Holmgren there. He dropped that shoulder. Big Dog. Oh, get the rebound. Holgren with the rebound. Big boy. Mm. And over Harden. Mm. He had 17 and 10. What you gonna do now, SGA? Mm. You gonna fade away? Nope, step oh. through. Oh. To the fadeaway. Way too little. That's unstoppable. Mm -hmm. My gosh, we're off to the races. Look at this young James and active. Williams man. ahead of the pack. Oh, okay, J Dub. How about the Oklahoma City Thunder? It's going to 38 and 17. They've won five in a row in their gym. They've won three straight overall. The Clippers have their five game road winning streak snap. Thunder 26 and four when they shoot 50 percent. 33 and two when they take a lead to the fourth quarter. And in this game had 11 blocks and nine steals. The Thunder number two in the West knocking off the Clippers tonight Jim and Lee. doing it convincingly. So you see how tight that is at the top between Minnesota and OKC. Um, look at the loss column from five down. I mean, you talk about some shifting of positions that's going to be going on. And, and look, that five and six, it's there for the taken to, to get into the playoffs without going through the play in. I said this earlier. I'm going to repeat myself for those who didn't see it. If I'm the Suns, I'm trying to get the four spot home court advantage. If I'm Dallas, I want the Suns in the first round. Uh, Kenny is is really high on the Pelicans. I don't know about them yet. Uh, Kings, I don't know what's going on with them, but you're right, it's very shifty at the bottom, but I'm focusing on what the Suns are doing and what the Mavericks are doing. So, again, <clears throat> Suns need to try to move up to four, and Dallas, the way Luka plays against the Suns, I want them in the first round. Vince, what do you think? When you, when you look at how the Western Conference shakes out, who would you say right now is coming out of the West? 
it, it's, I mean, it, I feel like it, it changes week to week. I know the Clippers were the hot new car, the team to talk about. Um, I, I still think OKC is a scary, scary team, and maybe they just don't know any better. And they're playing, and I, I, it's like how they all fall in line. Shaq said it earlier. They know who they, they know who their guy is. They're active. They're young. They're athletic. They 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 just play hard together. And I think they they OKC is a team to watch and can can really come out of the West. Well, if you're looking at and it that's from, disrespecting Denver, of course. I know well, yeah. That, I mean, you know. if you're looking at it from a championship perspective, like Still. who has the all of the the assets that you need? One, you need you need a, a great player. You, you look at the Clippers, you have a lot. You have Clippers, OKC, obviously Denver. You have coaching, you know, starts narrowing the gap. Then you have experience. When, it, when, you, when you go to experience, that card, it only leaves two teams. Right. Oklahoma, I mean, uh, the Clippers. Denver. No, Denver. Clippers don't have no experience. Don't yes, do they that. do. No, they Kawhi Leonard has been to the NBA Finals and won. That's one Tyrone Lue has been to the NBA Finals and won. You have, you have experience. But the Clippers people. as a team. Paul George no. has been no. to the Eastern Conference Finals and the Western Conference like, these guys have experience. James Harden has been to the Western Conference Finals. They have not What's experience if we don't win, Kenny? No, experience of being there. These guys have never been to be. that I plateau. Win. Yeah, but. That's the separator. They can. The way they play, they can. Good. I'm not saying that Minnesota, Phoenix. Phoenix, the only thing is. To answer your question, Ernie. I'm, no. I'm a, to yeah. come out of West, I'm going to give Denver, Denver the respect because they're the chance. Denver. But. But you're like, not, and no one's looking at Minnesota, who's the number one seed. I like OKC. Yeah. Okay. And nobody's looking at New Orleans, and they're one of the yeah. few teams in the league, top ten in offense and defense. They're number I, I like seven New Orleans. In I like where they go. I think it, we look at them like yeah. Sacramento last year. We yeah. just we just have to wait and see. Got to wait and see. That's what I think. Okay, I the reason why I don't pick Minnesota because I don't know if you can play both bigs at the same time. They it's worked work. so far. In the regular, Best record in the, in the West. Yep, 39 and 16. Yep, that's him. <laughs> I'm not sure how this guy got. No swinging by the fire pit. Not a good idea. I need to call who he called. More highlights on the way. Oh, that's a five. Jalen Brunson and the Knicks handling Ooh. business and Brunson. Billy. I like that one. Oh.